Welcome back, everyone. We're playing Shin Megami Tensei, and boy, am I tired. Being a 90s kid sure is hard. We watched a man get his throat torn out, got some coffee from a strange old man. Ah, a full three hours work. I'm going to sleep. It seems like our plucky protagonist wakes up in a dream and... John Madden? What are you doing in my dreams all the time? And why are you naked? And why are you also a hologram? I'm, I'm still not following that part entirely, if I, if I say so myself. I mean, are we, is this our experimental phase? Have we hit that point in our life where we're not sure if we're interested in men, but we're thinking about it anyway? I mean, John Madden wouldn't have been my first choice. Robert Downey Jr., sure, but... John Madden? But who am I to question Dong's taste in men? We do meet again, John Madden. Oh, Kanye West is here too. Is this really your idea of a wet dream, Dong's? Kanye West and... And John Madden? Can I be honest and say that you need some better taste? I mean, maybe Kanye, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I'm a bit iffy on him. It is another funky dream, that's for sure, Kanye. Hope we all don't wake up and, and you know, regret what happened. Hope we're not having some sort of three-way dream at the moment. Hmm. Seems a lot more straightforward than the last place, and the blue is very refreshing on the... Oh, Yuriko, um... I saw you at the coffee shop not too long ago, and what are you doing here? And I should probably point out, why are you physical? And everyone else is a hologram. I'm not quite following that. Why do you get to have clothes in my dream? It, uh, whatever, I'm not going to question you obviously don't have answers for me. You're just very happy to see dongs. You will always be my- Yes, you told me last night. You don't have to be so pushy about it. And I don't even know where you just went. Alright, bye, you're okay. Just chill out in this blue hallway for a few hours. And beyond the door is... Uh, what? Okay, um... Uh, this, this, like... Experimental dream is going a bit too far. John Madden, Kanye West, myself, a naked hologram chick, and a satanic ritual? This isn't the kind of wet dream I really was hoping for, if you know what I mean. I mean, I'm open to new things, but this is going a little bit beyond the pale. And why are we sacrificing the woman? Is this... Is this turning into some sort of, like, misogyny fest? Of... I'm not going to read too far into it. Dongs might just be a very troubled individual. What's this weird ceremony, asked Kanye. Do you think they're trying to summon some sort of demon? It certainly looks that way. Take this young soul, and uh, our sleeping dark master. They're trying to sacrifice the girl. Will you save her? Heck yes! Dongs might be troubled, but he's not gonna let this misogyny stand! Her Kanye West interjects. Take a good look, the guy in the back has one big-ass sword, and we're unarmed! You're talking about yourself, Kanye. I picked up a fruit cutter off the dead guy earlier. Don't ask me why there was a dead guy. We don't stand a chance. Who dares interfere with our ceremony? Dongs, you've come to rescue me! Of all the things to rescue me, I don't think even I could sound excited in the, in the face of imminent danger for a man named Dongs to come and save me. And what's he saving me from is probably my second question. Quickly, call my name! Your name shall be, henceforth, Longo. Okay, people are probably going to question me, Longo, really? But come on, next to John Madden, Kanye West, and Dongs, Longo is a fairly normal name. What? This girl's name is Longo? Yes, it is, son. 
Oh my god, if that's true, then... Ah, oh, thanks, Tongs! I almost got sacrificed! That's cool, Longo. If I had gotten sacrificed, a terrible demon lord would have been summoned. I can feel the power that has been drained from me returning. Are your clothes returning anytime soon? Man, I better not be popping some weird boner back in the real world. Let's have a see here. What shall your stats be? You know what? I feel as though, because Dongs is going to be such a massive powerhouse, she really needs to have more magic. We need some magic arsenal at our back. So what we're going to do is we're going to go absolutely nuts. Like Buku nuts. I don't think intelligence increases our MP, maybe? Maybe it does, I'm not quite sure. Nah, she's a bit too squishy. Let's put in about 20. Actually, no, we can give about 18. Let's give a, a bit... Or 16. Let's give 16. Bit more to stamina, bit to intelligence. That's how I'm feeling it. It looks sort of like she's giving us the middle finger in our stats page. She's a girl with attitude. Or something like that. We will not meet until later in the future. And then it is our destiny to be separated again. Okay, so long go. When did you become a clairvoyant? And I think I know you. Either way, doesn't matter. Wait, come see you sometime. You're wearing a sacrificial altar. I'm going to think back on the last 18 years of my life and no, 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 not really remembering any sacrificial altars. So I think I'm not really going to find you too easily anytime soon. Otherwise, I'm in for one fucked up quest. Oh, whatever. Dongs, how long are you planning to sleep? Dong sleeps as long as he wants. I worked for a full three hours yesterday, mother. Fuck off. Jesus. Seriously, can't a boy get some rest? Ah, oh, we got a new email from Steven. I have completed my auto-mapping program and attached it to this message. That's wonderful, Steven. You got the auto-mapping program. The connection dropped. I, I plan to sleep as long as it fucking takes, mother. Back off. Whew. Well, with that out of the way, I'm, uh, that was a really fucked up dream. It, went, it faded to black, and generally that signifies some sort of sexy time went on, I think. I really hope not. Uh, yep, no, yep, popped a boner. That's weird. That's uh, Dongs, you've really got to control it, man. I feel as though I know you're going through a very hard time where, you know, you're really starting to experiment and discover your true self, but could you do it off screen by any chance? You know, I mean, I'm, I'm asking you politely. I'm not making fun of the fact that you popped a boner over a weird dream, but I feel as though you should probably, you know, off camera. I'll give you a chance, don't worry. So, last time our plucky protagonist um, went off and found Kanye West and John Madden in a dream. And, uh, that's not- and I'm just gonna throw up on screen. This is what the protagonist looks like right now through the, through the official artwork. It's a more modernized version of the artwork, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. He looks a bit odd, he's got a weird turtleneck and such, and a weird computer on his arm of some sort. I think it's supposed to be a laptop. Yes, a laptop. I mean, sure, smartphones weren't exactly invented then, nor were they strapped to our arms, but whatever. Let's save and, uh, have a quick move on, shall we? Let's go see Mom. Hey, Mom. Good morning, Dongs. What happened to you last night? You were calling out to someone in your sleep. Hey, let's not talk about that, Mother. I'd rather leave this time behind us. A woman- Yeah, yeah, there was a woman involved. Nothing weird, mind you, mother. Please don't know. Yeah, the girl next door. It's, it's that kind of weird. I mean, you know, I was- uh, She was that one time where she, you know, put ice cream in my hair. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that, that's why I was uh, moaning about stuff and-, and Yeah, mother, um- Let's not- Why am I turning red all of a sudden? Let's just- <laughs> Goodbye, mother. I have better things to do today than listen to your drunken rambling. Yes, I know you haven't drunk anything today. Goodbye, mother. Oh. 
Well, I'm glad we avoided that awkward situation. My word. But last but not least, we have to do one important thing before we leave. Pascal! Who's a good boy? Pascal is actually named after the Pascal programming language, which was named after a French mathematician like a few hundred years ago. Who's a good mathematician? You are. You're a good mathematician. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to him. Bow! Bow wow! Yeah, Pascal, that's what I'm talking about, man. I'd fist bump you if I could. Gotta love dogs. I really fucking love dogs, guys. Don't judge me. With that out of the way... Well, I'm not really sure what to do, to be fair. Maybe we should head over to the mall and grab some ointments or something. Uh, there's gotta be a random battle coming up at some point sometime soon. I'm fairly certain that it's supposed to happen around now? So I have a rough idea. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, so that's how you summon things. Never mind. Oh, the auto-mapping program. That's how you find it. Oh, we can't use that outside. One of the most mapped things in the world. Whatever. Let's see. So, I think I equipped my... Yeah, I already equipped my knife. One of the things that the, this game really bothers me is that it doesn't auto-equip anything that you already get, regardless if it's better or worse. So, you know, you've got to always be on top of your game. For now, let us go and buy some drugs. Hi, I'm back. Yes, I know I got arrested that once for selling it to school children, but that was only the once, and you're gonna let me off the hook right now. You want my patronage? I mean, I could get you shut down if I wanted somehow. I'm My, my, my cousin works for Nintendo. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Either way, uh, give me some ointment. Never know when it's going to come in handy. Couple of those will do. Oh, right, right. There is one thing I do want. I found this off the recording because there were actually a couple of re-recordings of this episode. And welcome to the survival store for survivalists. Um, I found this on an off recording because I made a couple of mistakes doing this episode. So whoopsie. Well, welcome. We've got everything you need to survive the oncoming millennium. Great, I'd love to shop from a guy who believes in Y2K. Let's do it. I'm sure our mother won't question why we're wearing hunting gear by any chance. I'm sure it's a very common Japanese thing to have a healthy obsession with American-style hunting. I'm sure that is a completely common and normal thing for 18-year-olds to do. For now, we will be buying everything, because defense is a very important factor when you are built like a brick shithouse. I have so many points in strength, it is unreal. And that's why we need the armor to back it up. Yes, I'm hunting deer. To be fair, if I saw a demon rip out someone's jugular, I'd probably get pretty paranoid and put on some better armor too. Although it's not really that impressive as armor goes. Thank you for the headgear, survival, yep, leather, and more leather. Turning into a cheap BDSM show. Thanks, sir. I'm gonna need this. Okay, so we're kind of broke at the moment, so there's not really a whole lot we could do in the front of, um... Uh, finding ourselves a, a new weapon of any sort. But I think our knife will do just fine for the time being. Oh, wait, what? Got, uh, oh, yeah, we already talked to you. Get the fuck out of my face, man. I got better things to do. I wanted to talk to this guy. Hey, Dong, some strange old man was looking for you. I hope sincerely you didn't give him my name and address. Or to be fair, he already probably does know my name. But to be fair, I think he could have just been some crazy homeless guys shouting dongs. It's more likely than you think. I wonder where we could find an old man. A strange, silly old man. Let's see if there's any places we could go to as well. Hello there. Oh, hello there. So where will we have our first fight of the game? Akuryo or Ghost. Um, I'm not sure what Akuryo might mean. I might edit a snippet in here, understanding about what it regards. Could mean anything, really. But I'm going to do exactly what Luigi's Mansion told me to do in the event of a ghost, and that's stab it in the fucking face. 
Ow! Oh, it's faster than me, so I took three damage. Oh, it dodged my knife attack. I can't stab the ghost very easily. Who the fuck made this game? You know what? I'm gonna have a chat with you. You know what? Let's have a chat. How about you join my party? Why, you? Who just whom do you think I am? You are in the presence of the great Akrio ghost. How dare to you speak to me so familiarly? He's trying to intimidate me. Battle stance. Let's battle stance it. Taste my- oh, fuck, it doesn't seem like he likes that. No. Okay, no time to talk, they're out for blood. I'll show you blood. Somehow. Pl plimper. Oh shit, I think I've been confused. But a quick slash to the face should help that out. I mean, I don't exactly know how confusion works in this game. Ow, fuck, ow, shit. You're a bit of a prick. But you're also dead. I mean, deader. Yes, extra dead. That's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, good one-liner, Badger. Ah, Dong's leveled up. I also modified my stats to have a little bit more stamina in the event of a bad occasion. Um, strength. Four worth of cash. And two magnetite? Okay, four worth of cash. Could you not include the yen symbol in any way, shape, or form? I feel as though it wasn't too much to ask. Hmm. I wonder what we're to do now. Doesn't seem like we can leave the immediate vicinity. And instead we'll be assaulted by none other than another ghost of some description. How about we have a chat? Yeah, buddy, how's it go- Oh, it doesn't seem to understand English. And by English, I mean Japanese. So I'll talk with the eternal language of violence. It seems like violence is getting through to it, guys. Stabbing it repeatedly in the face wields impressive results. Tell your friends. And we leveled up again? Wow, the party train don't stop. Let's have a see. We'll get some speed up in here. Not too shabby. Four worth of cash again. Seems like the world map demons aren't that tough. I wonder what we're supposed to be doing today. I'm feeling a little baffled and lost. Oh, a zombie. Can I talk to him? Let's threaten the zombie. Okay, so it doesn't like talking. Whatever, you get a knife to the face. You get a knife to the face, you get a knife to the face. Everyone gets a knife to the face. Beautiful. Hmm. What's a man to do? I guess we'll have to go around and do some investigating of some description because I have absolutely no idea what we're supposed to be doing right now. Let's go to the cafe. It's generally a good place to get the lowdown on the local haps, yo. Or so they say in hip young kid lingo. Oh, apparently a girl got murdered to the south of here in Inogashira Park. I think they told us about this yesterday. And they dismembered her too. Okay, you seem pretty interested in the uh, decapitations of others. As I was looking for Longo. Oh, we haven't talked to Longo, who is apparently next door. We should probably have a check out and see what she's talking about. I wonder why that old echo building by the south entrance to the south, uh, south to the station is still abandoned. It's in a nice spot. There's a million things they could do with it. I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know why you're so hopped up on real estate. In Shinjuku? Ooh. Whatever it was, it was serious enough to shut off the rest of the city. That does sound pretty bad, in my opinion. Oh, fuck off. Look, I know we just had a chat. I know you really need someone to talk to. But the same conversation topic two times isn't really going to keep me here. The old empty store next to the survival shop recently became a hangout for a gang of local punks. I think Longo is um, hanging out with one of those punks, actually. Let's go another. Oh, hello then! Lady Zombie. 
How about you join me? I'll give you half the world. Oh, what? I gave you a chance to speak, so you called a friend instead? You get double knife to the face now. What? Oh god, we've got a max party to fight now. There's three of them. And you can't control which one you're attacking, I think, which is awful. Never. Ah, shit. This is gonna be a rough battle, guys. Seems like I have a metric shit ton of HP. That's one down. We avoided the attack, but took a quick swift hit to the left cheek. They're overwhelming us in numbers, just like a zombie should. Jesus Christ, horror games, take notes! Okay, two down, one to go. Yes, a swift dodge. Seems like they are slow after all. They probably have terrible accuracy. Ooh, that's a lot of XP! 288 worth of cash! In yen, actually, that's probably a piss poor amount, actually. I'm not sure what we're doing with Magnetite, but whatever. Hmm, let's check out these gang of local punks. Hmm, yeah, they look like punks, alright. Oh. Okay, I mean, I could have shanked them, but I guess we don't want to be a murderer today. Hmm, I wonder what to do next. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do some investigating, have a poke around and see what I can find. That's all the time we have for an episode today. I hope to see you tomorrow. Or the day after, whenever I decide to upload part 3. Either way, peace out Badger Brigade, don't forget to like, subscribe and all that business, and peace out. I'll see you later.